Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. You know, every week we see people complaining on Reddit when using their Steam Deck with a dock and TV setup. My deck sometimes refuses to play nice with my TV. Why am I getting black screens, flickering, bad resolutions over HDMI? Whew. Well, today we're cracking open the real culprit behind a lot of these issues, EDID. That's Extended Display Identification Data, and I'm going to show you a hardware device that can help fix these problems once and for all. I think this one's going to save you a lot of frustration and time, so stick around. Reddit user Doc Willis on r slash Steam Deck really gets credit for this one, as he pointed me in this direction to cover this, so thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. Let's get started. Every TV or monitor has a little memory chip inside that holds its EDID. Basically, it tells any device you plug in what resolutions, refresh rates, color spaces, and audio formats that it supports. Your Steam Deck plugs in and says, hey TV, what can you handle? And the TV sends back its EDID data. The deck then adjusts its output to something compatible. Simple, right? But here's the kicker. When the EDID handshake breaks, maybe because of a bad HDMI cable, a flaky dock, or even an older TV that reports things wrong, you can get all sorts of headaches. No signal messages, wrong resolutions, no sound over HDMI, constant flickering or black screens, sky's the limit. Any of this sound familiar? I thought so. What's the solution? First, yeah, you should check the basics, right? Use a high quality HDMI cable. They're not all the same. Make sure you're on the right HDMI port on the TV. Some support more features than others, so try them all. Test direct connections before throwing a dock or adapter into the mix, if possible. But sometimes that's not enough. And that's where this little beauty comes in. This is an EDID emulator or EDID manager a small hardware device you place between your Steam Deck or any other HDMI source and the TV. Here's what it does. It stores a stable, clean EDID profile and feeds that to the deck, no matter what weirdness your TV or dock is reporting. So even if your TV's EDID is flaky or the dock is stripping features, this device gives your deck a constant, reliable handshake. Why does that matter? because it eliminates mismatches. You can lock in at 1080p 60 or 4K 30, and you know, the deck will always try to push that to the TV. You avoid the TVs that say they can do fancy color formats, but choke when you actually try to send them. You also prevent docks from filtering out key audio modes like surround sound or other types of audio. These EDID devices are often used in pro AV setups but they're a lifesaver for gamers dealing with tricky hardware chains. It couldn't be easier to use either. Simply plug this device in between your Steam Deck dock and your TV. That's it. There's no external power, nothing, and it's pretty damn cheap. No more guessing, no more negotiating. The deck thinks it's always talking to the same clean display. So let's summarize. EDID is the display's way of telling your deck what it can handle. When that info is bad or garbled, you get HDMI problems. An EDID emulator can lock down that communication and save you tons of potential headaches. If you've been fighting with TV display issues with your deck, I highly recommend adding one of these little devices to your setup. Of course, we'll have a link to this one in the description below, and our Amazon affiliate links help fund this channel, so we appreciate when you use them, no extra cost to you. Have you used an EDID emulator before? Got a favorite model? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video helped you out, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell. You don't want to miss useful videos just like this one. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.